live from the venerable grounds of Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. The show brings you game one of a big four-game set. It's the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And starting in this one, James Paxton. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist singing. Well, but maybe a little pedestrian there in terms of the ERA, but with those numbers, you expect to be in a ball game and have an opportunity to win. And really, that's all his teammates can ask for. So we'll see if he's able to be consistent in this one. Ready to go. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswald Peraza. Arroyo makes the catch, and there's one gone. And here is Anthony Rizzo, one of the elite home run hitters in the league this year. Fought off foul. Whoa. Next offering misses, and the count is one and one. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Here comes Aaron Judge. Judge rips that one. Banks off the wall. Throw cut off to second, but he's in there easily. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. And that one fouled off. Rizzo on third, Judge over at second with one down. And there's a ball. And the next pitch is way outside. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Swings and misses. Two balls, two strikes. That looked like a case of deciding to swing no matter what. That pitch was way off. Nice job of the pitcher knowing that this hitter's looking for something up that he can drive, but he just expanded the zone to his advantage. Labor Torres up to hit. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. One runs in. A second scores as well. And they lead by two. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Two outs. Runner on first. Now the left fielder, Oswaldo Cabrera. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Line drive. And that's a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in. There's the tag. They get him. And that's the inning. It's always a big risk when you try to take third with two outs, but that outfielder had perfect technique and the throw was on the money. It takes a perfect one to get him. Great job to win the inning. Back now at Fenway. And Aaron Boone going with the right-hander, Luis Severino. What do we have on him? Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep in the games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. Severino. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man oh. off first base. Alex Verdugo in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Luis Severino, when healthy, he is one of the top pitchers in the American League. When he's going good, he's getting ahead in the count. I love that his mechanics are very simple, very repeatable delivery. Back-to-back -back base hits. Pretty good changeup on the outside corner, but he did exactly what you're supposed to do with that pitch. See it deep and keep your hands inside it to drive it the other way. Rafael Devers up to hit. Homered last night. Added another hit as well. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Into center. Bader pulls that one down. And there's one away. Adam Duvall at the plate. Now fly ball to right center. Bader makes the catch. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. Here's Reese McGuire. In there for strike one. That's through there for a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. On the ground to the left. That's a base hit as a run scores. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. You got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. That's in there. Strike one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Hard hit left side. Peraza. Jump throw. Out number three. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, here's Jose Trevino. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And strike one to the catcher. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. And now Bader up to the plate. Oh. And takes low for ball one. On, Next offering is foul back. Ground ball could be two. Flips it for one. Out. To Dahlbeck. Double play. We head to the bottom of the second. And stepping in for Boston, Bobby Dahlbeck. Going one. Severino, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, a cutter, and he works in a two-seamer. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Here's Christian Arroyo. And first offering is fouled off. There's a strike. Stays alive. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Rizzo makes the grab for the second out. 
Now it's the shortstop, Yu Chang. And there's the strike. Right through there for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, nope. he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Fouls it off, still one and two. Lifted in the air, right center field. Judge is there. He's got it. And that is out number three. Red. And we're back here at Fenway Park. And now the shortstop, Oswald Peraza. And a pitch. That's out to center field. Yoshida drifts towards it. Calls it in. And there's one away. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Singled and scored his first time. High fly ball, right field. Duvall under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. On the ground. Chang jumps, throws, oh. and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Back inside Fenway Park. Now it's the DH, Rymel Tapia. Fouled off to the right. Tapia, 29 years old, and he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Severino kicks deals. And he hits a ground ball right side. He'll do it himself. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Here's Alex Verdugo. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Swings and misses. And it's 0-1. Devers throws right, bats left. Hitting third in the lineup, and he's won a silver slugger in the American League. This looks like extra bases. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now a great opportunity to at least tie up this game with something like a sack fly or an error in the infield. But another hit to the outfield could absolutely end it. The 0-2. Check swing, appeal to first. No swing, just held it back there. The one two. Got him. Huge strike out there. Well, they were pretty much giving it to him right there. Playing the infield back. All you're looking for on offense is a simple ground ball. You got a tie ball game. Not sure what he was thinking up there. A strikeout looking is the last thing you want to see. Now you gotta hope the next guy can pick you up and come through with a big two out hit. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up. Welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. On the ground to third. Zips it to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Aye. Torres stands in now oh, and watches down. strike one. What about the fans at Fenway? Would they let you have it from time to time? They're definitely intelligent baseball fans, which is awesome. They're not waiting for something to happen. They can smell a big inning or anticipate a situation setting itself up. And he makes the catch. That's out number two. One thing I found that was very cool was making a great play to end the inning and running off the field and getting a standing ovation, even at times when you're not a player on their team. As long as you're not winning, 
they will celebrate and applaud a great play on the field. These fans here, they love and respect baseball. And that is the third out of the inning. Back here at Fenway Park. And now the center fielder, Masataka Yoshida. That one's in there. 0-1. Here comes a pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. The pitch. Bounce to the left side. To first, and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. And a foul ball. And a pitch. And a big swing and a miss. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question your... Well, got to pause on that thought as that'll do... Back here at Fenway, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Jose Trevino. In the air to left center. And puts the squeeze on that. One up, one down. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Paxton deals. That misses the zone. And the count even one and one. And there's the strike. One down, base is empty. Base hit, left center field. Around first, heading for two. Chang with a relay throw. Safe at second. Just beat the tag. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. He's safe. A run comes in on the play. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. And now Oswald Peraza. Throw to third. He's safe. In this game, you got to take what the other team is giving you. Right there, they were giving him a steal of third base. Didn't check his lead. Catcher doesn't throw very well. So you got to take that back. Get your team that much closer to scoring a run. Next one misses. Two and oh. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And now the lefty goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now the number two hitter, Anthony Rizzo. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. And that one wrapped foul. <laughs> Left hand batter waits. Ground ball up the middle. Arroyo. The throw to first, and that is that. So one run in the inning on this base hit, and this is now a three-one ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show.
We head to the bottom of the fifth. So stepping in for Boston, Yu Chang. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. There's a strike. The wind of the pitch. In there. And so now one and two. Got him swinging. You know, the variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really was in a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. And that is cut on and miss. 0 oh, 2. Righty delivers. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Man at first with one gone. Alex Verdugo up next for the Red Sox. Pitch misses inside. And that is ball one. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Over to Torres. Double play. What a twin. Back here in Boston, top six. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. And Judge spoils that one. You know, these Yankees doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit. And oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there, on its way, gone. That one felt good, and they add to their lead. It's 4-1. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Cora is out of the they go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot Ryan Brazier he doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him they'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball next offering is foul back Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Well, it was exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Pitch misses there, and the count's even at two. And the right-hander deals. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Labor Torres up to the plate. One for two with a two-run single back in the first. Fires to first on the run. There to beat him by an eyelash. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. And that is that. Solo homer extends the Yankees' lead. It's now 4-1. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in Boston, John Chompy with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Rafael Devers. That one's in there. Strike one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. 0-2 now. Drilled in the air. Right field. Way back there. And that is out of here. Rafael Devers rounds the bases. His 34th of the season. And they're chipping away. It's 4-2.
Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. And now the right fielder, Adam Duvall. Check swing, no appeal. But just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Takes the turn, he's digging for second. The throw in, not in time, it's a double. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch and that's how you do it. One away, bottom of the sixth. Here's the center fielder Masataka Yoshida. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Oh and, and fouled off. And the 0-2. Out to short, Peraza. Tosses across the first, but they cut it to one as the run comes in. And now the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Up the middle. Slings to first, and that will end the inning. Back in Boston, new inning getting started. And here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. The pitch. Ball. That one off the mark, and that's ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Chris Martin up and throwing. Hit hard on the ground to short. Over to Dahlbeck, and a quick out number one. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. And it's fouled away. Ball one there. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. On a line, base hit. Now he'll turn for second. Pulls in with a double, third hit for him today. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. And Bader is set down. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time, got that oh. hitter. Pitch hitter coming on, Jason Dominguez. Looking for a two-out hit with a runner in scoring position. Pitch misses there, and it's one to know. Good eye right there. Two outs, and one in scoring position. On the ground, right side. He handles it himself. That's the third out. You're Staying in the game on defense. That's Jason Dominguez taking over as the new shortstop now following his pinch hit appearance. Arroyo in the box now. Takes strike one. Line drive, base hit. Here comes the throw. Not going to get him. He's in there. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So, a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did. And he did it perfectly. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. Bader calls it in. And there's one away. Rymel Tapia up to hit. 
in there and it's on one. In the air, left side. Cabrera pulls it down, and there's two away. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Verdugo stands in here, takes ball one low. Arroyo at second with two down. Bella finds the corner. One ball, one strike. Man on second, two down. Just nope. missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. He's got it. That is the inning. So they turn to the veteran. pitcher in this spot Chris Martin he pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again the pitch line drive caught not fooled at all right there he was clearly all over it but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone you're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes and that one is lifted in the air Duvall makes the grab and there's two gone and here is Giancarlo Stanton. Swing and a miss. Oh, That's strike one. Movement in the bullpen. Joely Rodriguez up and loosening in the pen. Two down, nobody on. High fly ball out to center field. Yoshida moving under this one. Drops into the glove. And that ends the back here at Fenway here's the third baseman Rafael Devers out of the bullpen for the Yankees Clay Holmes now these are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves late and close there's not much margin for error but at the same time there's a reason they're put in these situations Torres over to first one gone to the bottom of the eighth that's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. In there at the knees, that's strike one. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Two down. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Reese McGuire. Slapped foul. That one misses, and it's a ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. And fires in a fastball at 95. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock oh, solid man. so far. Next offering upstairs. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, and now the tying run is into scoring position. Everything came together for him. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every you rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of... And there's a hit! Runner around third on his way to the plate. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Well, I can understand why they tried to force the issue and tie up this ball game, but wow, nicely done from the defense there to cut him down at the plate and preserve the lead. That's a big-time play. Back here at the... Ballpark, we go to the ninth. Here comes Glaber Torres. And he deals. Good eye right there. Martin oh, measures no six feet, eight inches, 225 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. Out to short, Chang. And Glaber oh, Torres retired. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Cabrera, now in the box. Comes oh, up empty with a swing there. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. And a foul ball. 
Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next pitch has popped up. Arroyo makes the catch. And a couple of quick outs. And now, Jose Trevino. In the air, right field. Duvall makes the catch. And the inning is over. Michael King comes up. Not trying to close it out. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Now into the ball game on defense. Isaiah Kiner Falefa. He's in at shortstop. The tying run at the plate. And that's in for a strike. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No, he held up. and misses it's a strikeout here's the second baseman Christian Arroyo swinging a foul straight back to the right side Torres only one out left for the Red Sox couple of pitches and a quick out Chang stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Got him! And that's the ball game. But with his sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourselves. We'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now. And the final score here, 4-3. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long.